I'm Mark Halley and Mr. Saltwater Tank coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Tank automation has come a long way in the past couple of years and the current hot ticket in the saltwater aquarium tank automation world is automatic water testers. Now I've got my hands on two of these testers, the Focustronic Alcatronic and the Neptune Systems Trident. And today I'm putting them head to head in a comparison test. I've been using the Focustronic Alcatronic for about four months and the Neptune Systems Trident for about three months. Both of these units were provided to me for testing and evaluation. End of disclaimer. Both of these units automate the testing of your tank's water and there's some commonality on what they test. The Alcatronic tests alkalinity only. The Trident tests alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium. One reason the Alcatronic unit only tests alkalinity is because according to the manufacturer Focustronic, calcium uptake is directly proportional to alkalinity uptake. Their assertion is you do not need to test calcium if you know alkalinity levels. I understand the chemistry behind that assertion and if I can't test an element in my tank, I don't dose it. And as paranoid as reefers are about contaminants getting into their tank, blindly dosing an element leaves too much to chance. For example, if your calcium dosing pump stops working or your calcium solution runs out, you're not going to know until you run a manual calcium test. And how often do you run a manual calcium test? People don't complain when they have too much data, they complain when they don't have enough. Now that doesn't disqualify the Alctronic, it just adds a piece to the puzzle in a decision-making process. Let's have a look at the units. The Alcatronic comes with a 42-step quick start guide. The Alcatronic unit, Bluetooth controlled outlet, hose connections and intake filter, power supply, wall mounting bracket, 250 milliliters of concentrated reagent, graduated cylinder, tubing. The Trident comes with Believe Unicorn Sticker. <laughs> That's hilarious. Getting started guide, intake tube holder and calibration solution, tubing and one link cable, box of reagents, Trident unit. Note that Neptune Systems Trident requires a Neptune Systems Apex system to function. It cannot work as a standalone unit. Also note that the Apex system can control and monitor lots of other things on your tank. Therefore, it's not like you're just buying a control box for the Trident if you buy an Apex. The Trident comes in at $599 and a basic Apex system costs $499. Total cost on the Neptune system side is $1,100, assuming you don't already own an Apex. For the Alcatronic, the unit costs $899. A key benefit of both units is that they can control your dosing based on their test results. The Alcatronic has a built-in dosing pump for one solution, which you would use for alkalinity. Note that this pump only doses when alkalinity is below the user-defined low point. A Bluetooth-controlled socket is included for shutting on and off alkalinity when it rises above the user-defined high point. If you wanted to dose calcium based on alkalinity results from the Alcatronic, you can use the Focustronic Dosetronic, which comes in at $699. On the Trident side of the table, you can use test results to control a dosing pump in two ways. First, via a third-party dosing pump, or for a more accurate and safer approach, you use a Neptune Systems dose pump. A dose pump will cost you $299, and if you want to dose alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium, you're going to need two of them. Note that on my tank and all my clients' tanks, I haven't had to dose magnesium for years. One dose pump will likely get you far down the road for dosing. A common reason to hear for people not liking tank automation is that they feel that it's too complicated. And while I have months of experience with both of these products, I'm going to show you what it's like setting them up as a brand new user. Therefore, I'll set up both of these products step by step per the included instructions. Yes, I'm actually going to read the instructions. And I'm going to time both of these setups so you get an idea of how long it takes to get up and rolling. Note that both units ship with reagents and the Alcatronic includes concentrated reagent that has to be diluted. Focustronic recommends you use a food scale or volumeric flask to perform precise dilution. I didn't have either of those items, so I used a 100 milliliter graduated cylinder, which is included with the unit. You'll also need a container to hold the diluted reagent, which isn't supplied with the Alcatronic unit.
Once the units are up and running, testing time takes about seven minutes for a single test on the Trident and 21 minutes for the full battery of Trident tests. On the Alcatronic, running an alkalinity test takes about eight minutes. Reefers will go to great lengths to make their systems as quiet as possible. And a common question I get about both of these units is, how much noise do they make? To answer that question, I've made my fish room silent, I moved three feet away from the units, and I've recorded the sound and decibel levels when they're running a test. Here's what I found. Ambient room sounds on my fish room were between 52 and 54 decibels. Decibel readings for when the Alcatronic was running were between 58 and 60 decibels. Here's a sound bite of what kind of sounds the Alcatronic produces. Decibel readings for the Trident were between 54 and 55 decibels. Here's a sound bite of what kind of sounds the Trident produces. You'll hear both of these units running if you're close by, although much less with the Trident. In my case, when my fish room door is closed, I cannot hear the Trident running and I can hear the Alcatronic running. One key element of any water test is accuracy. And accuracy is defined as how close to a true value can the test get. Now determining a true value without a certified standard is tricky, as any water test or testing device has some amount of error built into it. For example, the Henna alkalinity checker has an error range of plus or minus 5%. That means if you're testing a water with a known hardness of 8 dKH, the henna could report results as low as 7.6 dKH or as high as 8.4 dKH, all which would be in the acceptable error range. To get a better idea of the true value of my tank's alkalinity, I performed three alkalinity tests back to back with the henna alkalinity checker and the Salford carbonate hardness test. I averaged these results to get a true, quote, working value. Then I had the Trident and the Alcatronic run alkalinity tests. Both units were an acceptable range of about 5%. On the Alcatronic side of things, the results varied more over time. Whenever my test results were far out of the 5% range, I calibrated the pumps on the Alcatronic and the test results returned to within range of the Trident, Hannah Checker, and the Salford test. Since both the Alcatronic and the Trident use reagents to perform their tests, at some point you're going to have to buy more reagents. With the Alcatronic, you can purchase concentrated reagent solution, and if you go that route, you need to dilute it accurately to get good test results. Focustronic recommends the use of a volumeric flask or a food scale to perform a good dilution. With the Trident, Neptune provides ready-to-use reagents only. Since we have to buy more reagents and they cost money, how does the cost per test break down? One liter of concentrated reagent for the Alcatronic will set you back $29.99. Once you dilute it out, you get 1.25 liters of reagent. Given that each test takes about seven mils of reagent, you'll get about 178 tests and pay about 17 cents a test. On the Trident side of the table, a pack of reagent costs $44.95 and will last you about two months based on four alkalinity and two calcium and two magnesium tests a day. That works out to about nine cents a test. Also notable is that each reagent pack also includes calibration solution, which gives you more bang for your buck. From an ease of use standpoint, the Alcatronic often frustrated me as it connects via Bluetooth. That meant often waiting 10 to 20 seconds for connection to be established. Also, if your phone's screen turns off or you leave the app for any length of time, then the Bluetooth connection is lost and you have to wait for the connection between the app and the Alcatronic to be reestablished. Bluetooth is also a short range wireless solution, so you need to be within 30 feet of the Alcatronic to establish a connection. Web-based control of the Alcatronic is available and Focustronic says that expect a delay of 10 to 20 seconds for commands to reach the unit. Through Focustronic's web portal, you can also access test results from the Alcatronic. The Trident mostly relies on web-based control through Neptune's cloud service, Apex Fusion. Apex Fusion is constantly talking back and forth with your Apex, so I found minimal lag on commands sent to the Trident. Note that your Alcatronic can be connected to your Apex via a PM1 module and a BNC cable. You'll need to calibrate the BNC connection through the Alcatronic interface, which is straightforward. Note that this connection only sends test results to your Apex. The Apex cannot send commands to the Alcatronic, and the Alcatronic cannot send alerts or other error codes to the Apex. Will both of these units accurately test your tank's water for the elements that they test for? Yes. Expect more tinkering with the Alcatronic as the manufacturer recommends a monthly calibration of the pumps. We also need to dilute the concentration of reagent correctly in order to maintain accuracy.
NetTomb Systems includes a calibration standard with each reagent pack to recalibrate the trident if needed. How do you choose between these units? If you don't want to use a Neptune Systems Apex or it isn't available in your area, then the Alcatronic is the way to go. Be prepared for the setup time and the monthly maintenance on the unit. Also, if you're going to go down the concentrated reagent route with the Alcatronic, make sure you have the gear needed to dilute the reagent correctly. In other words, this is experienced reef junkie gear. If you already have a Neptune Systems Apex, you're wanting to get an Apex or you're wanting more of a hands-off solution, then the Trident is a natural choice. Also, between these two units, if you're wanting automated testing and reporting of alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium, then the Trident is the only way to go. Since the Trident seamlessly integrates into Apex Fusion, which means you'll receive not only test results, but also errors anywhere you have an internet connection, that's a plus for me. If something goes wrong with the unit, I want to be notified automatically without someone having to check on the unit. Other than replacing reagents when they ran out and performing a calibration when I felt the need, during the three months that I used the Trident and mostly sat next to my tank just doing its thing. I had minimal input on the unit and most of my time with the unit was spent looking at test results and noticing how my tank's parameters changed throughout the day. So there's my look at the Focustronic Alcatronic versus the Neptune Systems Trident. I'm Mark Kelly and Mr. Saltwater Tank coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Happy testing, hopefully automated testing. I'll catch you in the next episode.